Hey Knit Witches, I'm Katie, designer of Light from Lantern Knitting Patterns and host of the Knit a Spell podcast. I'm finally here to give you your March horoscope for knitters. This month, I'm using the Liminal Spirits Oracle deck designed by Laura Tempest Zakroff. A quick reminder that I interviewed Laura in an episode of my podcast, Knit a Spell, where we talked about her other Oracle deck, the Witch's Anatomy, which I'm excited to say I'll be featuring in a future video. But until then, we have March to deal with. So let's shuffle up these beautiful cards and see what each sign of the Zodiac has in store for their month of knitting this March. Since this is an Oracle deck, each card has a significant meaning, which is outlined in the guidebook. I'll be using the guidebook as inspiration on how to apply it to our knitting this month. Okay, Aries, who is your liminal spirit to help you this month? Ah, Mugwort. According to the guidebook, Mugwort often Mugwort often warns of danger. So Aries, before diving into a new project or one that you're working on currently, if you find you're getting that itchy warning on the back of your head, don't ignore your knitter's instincts. Use Mugwort's warning as a sign to slow down and make sure you're getting all the details right in whatever you're trying to craft this month. Taurus, for you, my friends, your liminal spirit is clay. Isn't this very appropriate for an earth sign? This month, Taurus, I really see you concentrating on projects that bring you joy. And we're really lucky that knitting is basically like clay. We're molding yarn into garments. So make sure whatever you're working on this month is lighting you up in terms of emotional fulfillment. And you can't go wrong, Taurus. This could also be a sign for color inspiration. Tones of blues, sky blues and creams, browns and grays, muted colors that are really grounding will also be of benefit to you this month. Gemini, for you, oh, we have the ash tree. According to the guidebook, ash can be a great reminder to stop obsessing over the little details, pull yourself back and look at the broader perspective. Perhaps something minor happens in your project, you find a knot in a yarn and it's super frustrating because now you have to tie in two more ends and nobody likes weaving in ends. But I challenge you this month, instead of letting those small things bother you, just let it flow off. This could also be a good sign to knit in nature. I mean, it's March, in theory, some places are getting nice, so maybe it's a good sign to also knit outside if you can. Next, we have Cancer. And for Cancer, we have Metal. Cancer, we might be passionate about our projects this month, but be careful not to act too harshly or hotly. If you're hanging out in a social situation and things are getting uncomfortable conversation-wise, remember, you can always leave. On the flip side of this, this could be a sign that if you aren't working on projects that are really igniting your fire and lighting you up inside, that this isn't the month to just try to make progress on things that you really aren't enjoying. Also, if you're struggling with working with wooden needles, try metal. It may make a huge difference. Okay, Leo, for you, oh, we have the deer. Oh man, I love this card. <laughs> Leo. Trust your inner knowledge this month. If you run up against a skill or a problem that may frustrate you or scare you, you have the inner knowledge to unlock this skill. Another interesting thing to note about the deer is that projects you work on this month may go very quickly. The deer is no stranger to a quick darting away situation. And so you may find the knitting is just darting right off your needles this month. Good progress month for you, Leo. Okay, Virgo, for you, ooh, we have the mushroom. I'm into that as a Virgo myself. <laughs> According to the guidebook, the mushroom is all about building community, your own knitting mycelium network, if you will. And so Virgos, I think you're gonna find that surrounding yourself in the knitting community this month is going to be your best medicine. Enjoy the company of others, share stories and get inspired. And yes, maybe even pick up a new project. That might happen when you're around people getting inspired. And if you do, let me know, drop the pattern in the comments. And of course, if you need inspiration on patterns, I might have a couple that you could also reference. Okay, Libra, for you, oh, we have the star. Libra, aren't you so lucky to get the card that I see as new beginnings? And you know what that means, new projects. Maybe it's just new yarn, maybe it's a new pattern, or maybe it's just a new inspiration on something you wanna do in the near future. You may also find that you are 
finishing projects this month because nothing allows you to feel less guilty about starting a project than finishing one. Knowing you, you'll probably do a balance of both. Scorpio, ooh, for you, we have the honeybees. Well, are you gonna be a busy little bee this month, Scorpio? You are on demand and you are making abundance happen. You're getting things done and people are really noticing your buzzing energy. If you are a Scorpio who is selling your knitted wear this month, you could be making out very well. Don't be afraid to shine and buzz about to let people know what you have on offer that they just might need. Also, gold may be a powerful color for you, so don't ignore things that catch your eye if they're in this color family. Sagittarius, for you, the salamander. Oh, what a perfect card for a fire sign. The salamander is often in the family of wands, symbolizing transformation after putting the work in. So Sagittarius, I really see things you've been working hard on, they're really coming to fruition. Noticeable transformation is coming. Maybe you are crushing it on learning a new skill. Maybe you're really making some hot progress on a project that you've been working on. Or maybe you're even trying your hand at designing. Whatever feeds the flame of your passion this month, Sagittarius, it's a good investment. You may also find that you're finding a lot of power when you wear red, so be conscious of how it influences you this month. Capricorn, for you, oh, the ocean, look at this wave. Nothing stopping you this month, Capricorn, no, no. You may be an earth sign, but the ocean is much like the earth in that it has quite the foundation of strength once it builds up. Follow your heart this month. Things that are leading you to emotional fulfillment, big energy, building up things. If you've been working towards something, this could be the month where you really see the curl, the turn coming towards you, making great progress. Maybe you're someone who's making a blanket and you're making like 12 squares. You might finally see the progress here of this big project finally coming to fruition and gaining momentum towards the shore. And by shore, I mean binding off. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Aquarius, for you we have, oh, the Corvid. Corvid is the entire raven, crow, that sort of family. These are birds that I see as wise protectors who can choose to work with you. Aquarius, what new tools or teachers are going to come your way in March to help you improve your knitting? It could be an unlikely source or someone who doesn't seem initially very inviting. However, once you gain their favor, I think you'll find they'll be more than happy to share what they know with you to help your skill set build. And if you're an Aquarius who's finishing a project, you might find that buttons made of bone or wood are going to be the best match for projects you finish this month. Just don't put your yarn out in the yard for birds. It's actually not very good for them, seeing as how so much of our yarn is not super natural. And I don't mean supernatural, I mean natural. So just a word to the wise. And finally, for Pisces, we have the moth, a month of transformation for you, Pisces. How many balls of yarn are you going to turn into sweaters and shawls this March? Or perhaps it's a yarn made of silk that's gonna be a special project for you. You may also find that investing time building a new skill will help you transform your mindset and improve your knitting. And seeing as how we're in Pisces season, I see this as a good sign of abundance to a year full of good changes. That does it for March's Horoscope for Knitters. I've been using the Liminal Spirits Oracle Deck by Laura Tempest-Zakroff, which is published by Llewellyn. Even though we're coming out a little bit late this month, I still hope that these readings help you have your best month of knitting ever. Share your feedback on your reading in the comments, and if you love this video, go ahead and support me for free by subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.